All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I'm here with No City at the Burbank Card Show. It is officially day one, and this place is massive. This place is massive. Let me show you a quick view of what the display looks like. This is what their booth looks like. That's what the No City booth looks like. Looks very, very sleek, very stylish. They're letting me have this uh, whole section right here to buy, sell, and trade. So we're here in this corner by Drip, by the Pop Shop, by the Zion cases, by PSA grading over there. The entrance when you come in will be on the right. So, man, if you're not here, you might be missing out. You might be missing out. Let's go. All right, guys, the objective today, of course, we're here to buy. We're here to fill up this luggage with slabs. So let's see what we can do. Can I, can I shoot one real quick? Hezzy. There you go. All right, it's all on the line. That's it! That was pretty close. <laughs> that was close, Double right? Okay, let's go. See, he's a good man. Let's go! Oh, that was a hundred dollar shot! Hey, pay me by the end of the show. Pay me by the end of the show. I got it right here, bro. Yo, let's go! Yo, let's go! hundred bucks, my man! He paid for that. Let's go! Guys, I cannot believe I made that shot. Shout out to my guy Dan for being a good sport about it. He actually paid up too. He's a gambler. He's got he's got a uh, he's got tattoos. He's got a uh, card tattoos on his wrist. What's up, boss? How you doing? Good. Are you buying at all? Yeah, I'll take a look. Right, sure. My man, what's good with you? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, good stuff. Damn, that's you mean nice. the car you won off the giveaway? <laughs> 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 Oh, you got a lot. I got a lot. I got a lot. All right, let's do it. Bought everything, everything. You want raw too or just slap? Uh, we'll start with these for now. For sure. It's crazy. There's prices, but we can make it work. All right. Damn, that's nice. The big old Oscar Robertson, Tyler Gold. That's nice, I had though. I and I was like, all right, I'll grade it. Didn't get back in time before the hype ended. But yeah. Still clean. On card. That's yeah, nice. It's on card. I think I'll pass on that one. Yeah, I would I would value that twenty. Okay. But again, we could so just start and go from there. Yeah, and then I, I'm putting my my the full value or what I think it would sell for right. for me. Okay. And then we go from there. Me, yep. For me, I do eighty on it. Okay. You could. Yep. And the Josh, the twenty five. Mm -hmm. It's hard because I bought raw for hundred, but I understand it's an eight. Yeah. I probably do like ninety on it. Ninety. Yeah. Okay. As far as value or what uh, what, what, what I'd pay. Would, would you offer me? Okay. 90. I'd pass on this one. Okay. I think we're close on this okay. one. This one I could do 80, that's no problem. Okay. Let me just change that. I basically want to be at five, 543 for everything. I really want to get this at 210. Just make it 550 even? Yeah. First deal, let's lock it down. Let's do it. Let's set up. Cool, got it. My I man. Appreciate, man. appreciate you, man. Shout out to my King, King Mashu, man. What up, what up? First deal, broke let's the ice. Go. Let's go, brother. Good luck out there, man. You too. What's up, young fella? Oh, there you go. This is cool, man. No, no, it's cool. It's really cool stuff. These are your prices on them? 15, 15, 25. That's nice. That's cool. I like that. I want to take this card for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, you said? Yeah. My man. Appreciate you. Picked up this tag grading slab from this young hustler. Walking around, just wanted 10 bucks for it. I'm like, I'll pay for a tag slab. Why not? All right, guys, another deal closed. Uh, a couple of deals closed. It's a lot camera last turned on, but we picked up this Steph Curry Red Wave. Picked up this Anthony Edwards Scope PSA 10 Select Rookie. Joe Burrow Field Level Rookie PSA 10. Joe Burrow Genesis this year PSA 10. And a Zion Williamson lottery ticket. Let's go. For a pick now, bro? Yeah, let's do it, brother. Uh, this is on that side. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your content, bro. My man, I appreciate you, man. I'm trying. I'm trying, you know, keep it easy, low key. I hate your deals, bro. How was that? I find shit like that. All the deals, <laughs> All the deals? yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the, I know, right? That's part of having a YouTube channel, I guess. That's part of being a hustler like you, too. Yeah, man. Real shit. Up, bro, My it. man, I appreciate you. My man, Alan. 600, I'm at 500. He's at 550. I'm at 520. He's at 540. That's where we're at right now. It's quick, though. Oh, these are nice. Oh, yeah, these are the ones you showed me, yeah. I can do 540 PayPal. It's good? Let's do it. Shout out to Alan. We're picking up another jump man. Love these cards. These are beautiful. This looks like a good seven too. Yeah, I pulled it right on the back. That's yeah, crazy. I it like 20 years ago. 
Ah, uh, guys, taking a break at the table, walking around the show. Honestly, spent a little bit, a little bit too much today. So trying to pace myself uh, because I think Saturday and Sunday, day two, and then the last day are going to be some great buying opportunities. Not just for dealers, not just for buyers, but also for people just walking around the show. I think uh, Sundays are, are, are where the best deals happen, the best cash deals happen. So, uh, yeah, we're going to pace ourselves, see some nice things that we got around here. Guys, so much fire in the tables, man. So much fire in the cases. This is probably the furthest I've ever walked to this side. I'm set up all the way back over on that wall over there. So now we're kind of venturing out to see what, uh, what the, outer, the outer fringes has. All right, guys, real quick, we are back here in the hotel room. Took a quick break, had to get some coffee. Quick scope at the stuff that I picked up. I think you saw a lot of this stuff yesterday, but look. Uh, we got a Don bunch of Donovan Mitchell, John Morant, some low-end stuff, but stuff that people want nonetheless. Here's a Joe Burrow uh, PSA 10 Select that we pick up today. This is my favorite pickup today. Shout out to Alan. Every time I get this card, I love it. Michael Jordan, 1985 Nike promo in a PSA 7. Chalk Toss LeBron. Uh, we got some Cade, low end Cade. A lot of Kobe's came through today. I think we're picking up some more tomorrow as well. Uh, more Kobe. Luca, second year. Orange Ice LeBron. LeBron stuff has been going crazy since he passed Kareem uh, with the, uh, the, scoring, the scoring championship. Jason Tatum, I think that was a pretty much the, uh, let's see what else we got here. Here's a Justin Fields. What else do we got that you guys would like to see? Here's a uh, Max Verstappen orange. Oscar Robertson, this is really cool. Oscar Robertson auto number to 49. Uh, we got a Donovan Mitchell, oh, sorry, yeah. We got a De'Aaron Fox purple PSA 10 rated rookie for all you dirty beam lighters out there. This is cool. And this is cool right here. Josh Allen select patch number 235. The year is 2021. Herbert, who's that? Steph Curry, numbered Steph Curry. This is number two, where's it at? 99, I believe. What else we got? More Kobe's, Hermes, Kobe gold medallion. Got this nice Neymar checkerboard. Uh, we have a number Josh Allen MVP 2021 contenders. A number three out of 75, I believe. Forgot to mention, this is Josh Allen. This is jersey number. I didn't even catch that. Number 17 out of 35. And other than that, I mean, we got Zion, Zion. And man, I had to get this just because of the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the tag slab. We got a Burrow second year Genesis, PSA 10. We got some golf, more LeBrons, Kobe's, the big three. Anything else in here? Luca rookie. Nice, affordable stuff, man. Stuff that just does well on eBay and whatnot. We got Jason Tatum Prism PSA 10. So yeah, that type of stuff. Ant-Man Scope Select Rookie PSA 10. That's very nice. All right, so got a little bit of a rest in. Let's head back to the show. Let's see what's going on over there. Man, they got me in building two and I'm thoroughly confused by the layout of this place. It seems like I walk into every other building except for the one that my hotel room is in. I think the, the, the main problem with this hotel is they have a building and a floor. They have building two and building three and floor two and floor three. And because I'm not the smartest guy in the world, I just end up in the wrong place, man. And I'm trying to do numbers all day, cards and all that stuff. So once you try to throw room numbers into the equation, it just doesn't work out. So this is what it's like when you walk in to this joint. Massive, massive space. And this is just Friday. So I can't wait to see what Saturday has in store. Also, the word that I'm hearing as I walk around is that everyone, which is good, dealers are paying very, very strong, which is very good. So for all the people that complain about the prices they're being paid, you should have been at this show, at least on Friday. We'll see how Saturday and Sunday goes. All right, guys, so day one is officially in the books. All right, guys, it is day two, the busiest day here at the Burbank Card Show. I'm here with the boys, no city, set up in the booth. We are buying all day, they are selling all day. And man, let's go. If you can see behind me. It's madness, brother. It's madness. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, walking through the show floor, trying to get some coffee real quick, make sure the line's not too crazy. So, yeah, I mean, like, the big thing with the last show was that space was the biggest issue, right? Super small. There was a line up until, like, 4.30 p.m. But now, as you can see, and if you look behind me, space is not an issue. Action is not an issue. And it looks like a line to get coffee is also not an issue. So that's what we're going to do. Ah, and the food is not bad here. They lock you down, make you get the food that's in here, but it's not bad. I think I will go for a coffee and a cheese pizza. That sounds, that just sounds bad. How about a fruit cup or 
side of cheese. All right, guys, we are in the thick of it right now. I think this is pretty much the halfway point of the show. I just got to say it again. Shout out to the Burbank Card Show team for putting on such an amazing event. Uh, and shout out to everybody that came by and talked to me at the table. I didn't, you know, I always, I always knew that I, I had some folks here in, in LA that would rock with me. But man, here to see you guys, to meet you guys, take a picture with you guys, super dope. I'm super appreciative. It's, it's, it's showtime, man. We, we, uh, we're, we're selling, we're buying, we're doing all the good stuff, man. And as you can see, the case looks really well put together now. Shout out to No City for letting me use this showcase. I'm really excited about how the case looks. It looks like your boy actually owns a card store or is working at a card store. So thank you the guys at No City for letting me use the booth like this. My wife would not be happy with those two stacks and how they're haphazardly displayed. So I'll have to fix that. But everything else looks good. The boys have sold, the boys have done business. Trying to move some bags. There you go, moving units. Yes, the, the interstate man. There's the. There's me shutting down the pop shot where kids would launch three pointers and just hit me in the back of the shoulder. I'm sorry, Drip. I had to shut it down. I'm the Grinch. I'm the, I'm the pop shot Grinch. Quick update on what the case situation is looking like. That Curry's numbered right there. This is how bad of a salesperson I am. That LeBron, I had that buried under a stack of like these cards. It's like a $300 card or something like that. I had it buried under a stack of like $10 and $15 cards. Still super active. The time is now 2.06 p.m. A lot of deals. You know what's really cool about this, by the way? I forgot to mention. I don't know. I don't get to shows very much. I don't get out to shows very often, but PSA is doing on-site grading. That's very rare. I think, I believe. BGS is on the other side of the wall over there. On the other side of the hall, I'm sorry. Tag is over there in that corner. So your grading options of having stuff graded and turned around to you in the same show, you got a lot of options, man. So it's, uh, it's, it's good that people are taking advantage of it. Because I know myself, like especially with the higher end things, I'm very wary of uh, uh, sending something in, mailing it away and hoping it gets back in, in one piece, you know what I mean? So it's cool to have that option here uh, for everybody. But here's what it's like to walk down the aisle. One can easily get lost. How about this? Let's comment down below. Comment down below. How much in cardboard is in this room right now, dollar-wise? Are we in the 50 million, 100 million? Are we in the 200 million? How much do you think? I, have, I don't have the answer. I'm just curious to see what you guys think because I'm walking around and I'm seeing, I mean, in one case, I already saw a Mantle BBG 5.5. That was like 100,000 just sitting right there in a case randomly. So <laughs> you let me know. All right, we're taking a walk away from the table right now. Just see what's out here. It's active, man. It's active. It's packed. The hobby is alive. Definitely for me, this is the biggest show I've ever been to. I'm excited. And I think I'm gonna have to go to the National this year. Definitely gotta go to Dallas at some point this year, but as far as the biggest show, this is it right now. A lot of cars, a lot of action. Community is super dope. You already know what time it is. And I think this is the Burbank cash out line. Yeah, I think this is the Burbank cash out line. So if you want to cash out your cards, you stand at the end of this line. Now, one thing I distinctly remember from the last show, and I think the rumors are correct, but I don't know if I can say the real number, but Burbank spent a crazy amount of money cashing people out at the front of the show last time uh, at their first show. So when, they ca when those people get their cards cashed out, the first thing they do is they go into the show and spend it with the dealers. So I haven't met a dealer uh, from the last show that said that they had a bad show because there was so much so much cash in the room so much people willing to spend more so than I've seen at any other show that I've been to so that's another advantage that the Burbank card show has is they're cashing people out right at the door so it's a good place to get get some uh, instant liquidity you know what I mean all right time for us to walk back to the table we are not hard to find you just go towards the wall and that's where we'll be yeah both of them let's talk about it 200, 480 minus, let's see, 480 is what I'm asking. 440 cash? Four, 420, right, right in the middle. Keep it easy, break the ice. It's not bad, right? Can I see the, the bro real quick? Yeah, I got you. I know you got, got a business to run. This is game, this from, he's from Game Day Sports Cards, by the way. Shout out to Las Vegas. Can you get me the four on him? Oh, let's do it. Sure. Brother. Uh, shit, I actually do. Thank you, man. Oh, this is fresh too. It's pretty good. Shout out to No City, they feed you too. Shout out to eBay Collectibles. Shout out to eBay Collectibles and their vault. I'm gonna start my own vault too. Someone talked to Keen Vault. We talked about it on the chat. We're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep everything in a shoebox behind my bed. All right, guys, you coming with me? I just need to take a quick break, get some coffee or something. A little pick me up, a little midday pick me up. 
Oh, they got pastries. Ooh, a waffle in a plastic wrapper sounds amazing. All right, guys, we got our coffee. Time to head back into the show, see what we're missing out on. Apparently, the trade night is right up ahead. Man, I'm not sorry. He's on the phone. He's on the phone. They're going to legend. Kenneth Fornos. Give him a follow already if you're not. All right, here's what it's like when you walk into the show. Ooh, easy to be overwhelmed, my friends. But don't be scared. Fret not. The No City booth is just this way. Kevin's allowed to shoot because he won't let me get hit with a stray in the back of the head. And his, his shot's pretty silky, so it's trust it's trustable. Yeah, see, it's trustable, so. Kevin can shoot. Yeah, we were talking about this card right here. It got more of the use because it's like, you know. It's like such a such an eye catcher, you know what I mean? Thanks so much. We just closed this deal right here. It is a uh, Larry Bird game use card, right? Game worn Larry Bird, Trey Young. Is this game worn? Yeah, all game worn. And shout out to, yeah, man, got you. And then shout out to Anthem Collectibles. He sold me this uh, Mbappe color blast. I'm, I'm starting to feel this whole tag grading thing, man. If you ever scan this QR code, it gives you like the scans and all the imperfections and breakdowns of the card. It's, it's super, super exciting stuff. Uh, we got a, a T-Mac, uh, Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant game use patch card, AI game use, AI game use, Paul Pierce game use. We might just have a game use night on whatnot. Um, Tim Duncan and this uh, probably game used Chris Paul and Magic Johnson. Let's see. From this area, it was always game used. Now it's all authentic mem. But yeah, let's go. Man, shout out to Ontario. Shout out to Burbank. Shout out to everybody that came through. We had someone come by the booth that came from Australia just for this show. Uh, and, you know, people came from Chicago. People came from New York, all that good stuff. So it's, it was so dope to have everybody show out, man. Five o'clock, we're almost near the end of day two. Might be time for another steak dinner. But yeah, we've, we've, we've done a lot of good deals today.